Major General Edmondson has elected to defer the review of the parade to Colonel Rocky Wilson in honor of his final parade as Commander, 37th Training Wing. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates passing review today, representing a portion of the 35,000 men and women who will complete basic military training this year. The 737 Training Group provides all recruits the essential military training to become motivated members of the world's greatest air and space forces. The military training instructors are responsible for the indoctrination, development, and discipline of the airmen and guardians. They have dedicated endless hours to ensure all training objectives are met. Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Armed Forces. As our graduates turn left onto the bomb run to pass in review, they will march over the enlisted heroes' walk. The men and women recognized on the papers have been awarded our nation's highest honors, representing heroic and unselfish actions as members of the United States military in armed conflict. Their decorations include nine medals of honor, 23 Air Force crosses, and 162 silver stars awarded for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. These enlisted heroes serve to inspire all service members to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. We would like to direct your attention to our national, state, and territorial flags. As these flags pass in review, please stand and render the appropriate courtesies for our national flag. And as a reminder, military members and veterans in uniform will stand at attention and render a salute. We ask that our civilian guests stand and place their right hand over their heart. Veterans and military members not in uniform may either render a salute or place their right hand over their heart. Once the flags have passed, please be courteous to others and be seated in order to allow all our guests the opportunity to view the flags as they pass in review.
passing for you, the Commander Airman, Colonel Jeffrey Pixley, Commander, 737 Training Group, hometown, Corona, California. Flight 415, led by Technical Sergeant Makisha Jones, Military Training Instructor Trainer, hometown, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Flight 416, led by Staff Sergeant Andrew Marcinko, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Boswell, Pennsylvania. Flight 417, led by Technical Sergeant Joshua Gora, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Hazel Park, Michigan. Military Training Instructor Trainer, Hometown, Given, Nebraska. <laughs> Flight 419, led by Technical Sergeant Justin Hannenberg, Military Training Instructor Trainer, Hometown, Norlinda, California. Led by Technical Sergeant Anika Dexter, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Young Vito, New Mexico. <laughs> Flight 421, led by Technical Sergeant Eric Jimenez, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Winchester, Virginia. Led by Technical Sergeant Joseph Sabavar, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Tracy, California. <laughs> the Color Guard, led by Technical Sergeant Kevin Anderson, Military Training Instructor, Trainer, Hometown, Charleston, South Carolina. The flight selected to carry our national, state, and territorial flags. Flights 425 and 428, led by Master Sergeant Seneca Linder, Military Training Instructor Trainer, Hometown, Woodbridge, Virginia. Flight 423, led by Technical Sergeant Kyle Graber, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Arthur, Illinois. Flight 424, led by Technical Sergeant Tristan Martin, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Roy, Utah. Yes. Flight 426, led by Technical Sergeant Tiffany Caramello, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Flight 429, led by Technical Sergeant Kyle Edmondson, Military Training Instructor Trainer, Hometown, Fairfield, California. <laughs> Flight 430, led by Technical Sergeant Sarah Bento, Military Training Instructor Trainer, Hometown, San Jose, California.
Musical support for this morning's ceremony has been provided by graduates from Flight 427, led by Technical Sergeant Kelvin Bradley, performing under the direction of Technical Sergeant Nathan Hell, military training instructor, hometown Jorba Linda, California. These individuals were hand-selected to perform for today's ceremony. In addition to completing all graduation requirements, they have dedicated countless hours to prepare for this event.